Hi everyone, it's the iRender team. Today we will do a render test on the 4RTX 3090 server. This is the iRender dashboard. We offer two types of rendering services for CPU and GPU, which allows us to create our server image with different specifications. Here is our server image list. The second one is the server image we already set up Houdini software and Octane before. If you don't have any image, just create a new one and select a server package you want. Notice that you need to set up all software and applications for the server for the first time. They are stored and available for the next user session. According to our guide, before booting the server image, be sure to transfer the scene files and relevant data to the remote server. There are several ways to do this. You can use cloud drives like Google Drive or Dropbox. You can even use our transfer tool called the GPU Hub Sync app, it's free and convenient. We'll show you how it works. We already log into this app, here there are X and Z drives. X drive contains software installers, allowing us to check which software installers are available on the remote server. Z drive is where the user's data is stored. It means that what we upload to the GPU Hub Sync app will be synced to Z drive. Just drag and drop our data. Here I have a small Houdini project is prepared with the Octane Render Engine. Now, boot the image. This step takes us about 5 minutes. It can even take longer due to the larger server image size. The less data is stored in C drive or desktop, the faster boot time is. Once an image is booted successfully, the remote server is ready to use. Our system starts charging at this step. Connect to the remote desktop by entering our credentials on THERDP file. We're on the remote server. Notice that X and Z drives are networked drives. However, it's optimal to work everything on hard drives like C or desktop. So, copy all data or installation files to C drive before opening. Setting the output paths should be in the C drive as well to avoid getting corrupted. This Houdini project is already set up with the Octane Render Engine. Now click to render. In the meanwhile, we can check the GPU performance of 4RTX 3090s in Task Manager. The rendering process is complete. Check the output folder and then move it to Z drive. The purpose is to sync these rendered files to GPU hub sync. When everything is done, shut down the remote server in the iRender console. The final step is just to open the GPU Hub Sync app and download the result files to the personal computer. In conclusion, we rendered a Houdini project with Octane Renderer on the 4RTX 3090 server. Total render time is 18 minutes for 89 frames or 12 seconds per frame. For 4K PBR texture, 24 texture total and 10K resolution HDR. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video or learned anything, leave a like. And if you have any questions, please leave a comment below. See you in the next video.